Hi guys, it's Dr. Mesa, I'm a naturopathic doctor here, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about collagen. So there's many different ways that we can get collagen in through a supplement. So you can get it in a liquid base, you can get it in a bar base, and you can even get it in a powder form. And so first of all, what is collagen? Collagen, it's actually a protein in your body that is continuously being broken down and rebuilt. There's also external factors that you may be exposed to that may um, increase your need for uh, collagen. So things like physical stress, things like having a poor diet, and even being exposed to pollutants, they may increase your need for collagen in your body. But what does collagen actually do in your body? How does it actually work? So we have all heard about collagen being used for skin, it's being used for um, nails, but it's also really important for wrinkles and reducing wrinkles and reducing cellulite. However, there's a lot of other benefits to collagen. So it can also actually be used for osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoporosis, wound healing, and activity related pains. Okay, so I'm gonna break this down for you guys. Collagen actually has about 26 different um, types of collagen. However, about 80 to 90 percent of the collagen that we have in our body is in type 1, type 2, or type 3. Okay, so why is this important is because different collagen types will have an effect on different areas in the body. So predominantly when we're talking about the human body, essentially type 1 and type 3 are really good for skin health and they're also really good for joint health and type 2 is mostly good for joint health. So when you are trying to think about taking a supplement that has collagen in it or a collagen supplement, it's important for you to understand the type of collagen that is in that supplement because not all collagen is the same. Not all collagen proteins are the same and not all collagen proteins have the same sizes to them. Something else that is important for us to note is that there are other nutrients that are also involved in the collagen production process. So things like vitamin C, silicon, and glycine are also really important for us to be able to um, maximize the way that our body is producing collagen. So I hope you guys found this uh, video useful. Feel free to share it with all your friends and DM me if you guys have any questions. Bye!